Hi, I'm Paul Ritter with Interactive Media Strategies, and welcome to this Thought Leaders webcast that's part of our Excellence in Enterprise Video Awards program. In this feature webcast, we hear from representatives of Intel who share with us some of their thoughts and insights on how the world's largest chip maker is using video in a number of ways to reach very interested audiences in ways that are really forward thinking. Intel, who was nominated for the award by the Feedroom, is taking the field of media relations and corporate communications to a totally new level, in part by combining the compelling nature of video with the powerful capability of social media to communicate with audiences from really anywhere in the world who may be interested in learning about Intel's products, innovations, and company activities. In these next segments, we'll hear from two thought leaders from Intel, Larry Bosman and Ken Kaplan, who talk about the various ways that Intel is using video and really empowering thousands of others to quickly and easily view or embed videos that Intel creates for interested viewers to see on all kinds of news, information, broadcast outlets, and social media websites in countries from almost every continent on Earth. My name is Larry Bosman, and I'm a corporate communications manager for Intel Corporation. And my role is to focus on our relationships with broadcast news outlets and also in creating video content or video storytelling uh, for the kinds of technologies that Intel invents and, and, and produces. We focus on two parts, really. We're focusing on our primary clients, which are journalists. And the other part of this is that we, we try to get around to making our content now available to the broad audience, the, the consumers, the people who would use our, our products and, and would, be, uh, would benefit from our technology. But what we're finding now is that video content is so ubiquitous on the Internet that we have two approaches. One is the content we're trying to get to broadcasters and how they might use it either on their television networks or on their websites. But the other big part of this, and, and, and my colleague Ken Kaplan is, is very much immersed in all of this, is getting this content, having it out there on the internet so that regular people, uh, casual viewers, can see it as well. Initially, when I joined Intel in 2000, our audience was, the, they were broadcasters. We would provide B-roll, um, video news releases, and Things have changed since then, and now we're making those videos more for an, a common audience online. So something that we would go and shoot for broadcasters is actually we think about, well, this is something that a common consumer would see also. Um, we're doing that because there are tools to do that. There's YouTube. There are, there are social tools out there. But there are also um, more places on our press room site where we can put video um, that can go along to help tell our story. When we create a video, we w the things that I would like to do is I want to make it easily accessible, easy to find, and then portable, which is embeddable, something that you can grab and put in your own blogs. Now, I would want to put that video inside a blog post that I would write because I would want to get the opportunity to have some people comment about it in a story fashion. Um, that video might also be on YouTube where people can comment, but that's a, that, the YouTube has its own type of audience and own type of commenting. Um, there, I would also put that video in the press room where there is not commenting. It's a resource, a place where I would go if I were a journalist and I'd want something quick. Uh, I could go and find it, download it, and, and use it how I need to. So the thing is with video is you don't just put it in one place. You are, you want to make sure that when you're creating it, that you know you're going to share it with a variety of people. The broadcasters, they need their certain format, high quality. Um, online, you need to make sure that it fits format so it can go on to certain sites. But then again, shareable, then what are you going to do with it so that it gets out into the right places where people can comment or grab and use how they need it. Once we move to sharing the video online where people can grab the embed code and, and do stuff with it, that, you know, folks who are not just broadcasters. Um, what that does is it shows the audience that we're sharing that we want you to do something with us. We don't want you to just re, you know, watch and then go away. We actually are encouraging you to do what you want with this. Put your story around it. Um, take this video and use it as a feedback mechanism for Intel or for your audience. Look what Intel is doing. We could do this, or I was inspired by this. Let's do that. So I think that just the fact that you're giving it to them in that format is, um, is compelling. 
and it's good for the audience, uh, but it also, uh, when we are going out beyond the Intel site, we are reaching audiences who are out there we might not have gone out and said, hey, if you're interested, we're, we have these videos out for you. Um, from then, you have opportunity to have those folks engage with Intel. So there are new, these are new ways, new vehicles, new doors uh, for relationship building and new understanding of what's going on inside Intel. One of our main goals of, of going to a digital form of distribution was to try to uh, deal with the, the challenge of getting material quickly uh, to our global audiences. You know, there, there are U.S.-based outlets, but there are also outlets in Germany and Latin America and in Africa and North Africa and Asia. Uh, and, uh, the, and, and what we consider emerging markets for Intel products and technology. Um, so now what we can do is we're trying to use the digital uh, distribution model to reach out to those areas, but also to be able to do it faster. In the old days, if we thought we were going to be uh, doing publicity for a particular product, we're working weeks in advance trying to get that material in place and then and then going on please hold for release on this material, don't use it too early. And now we can turn around much faster and almost work in the, the timeline or the, or the time sequence of news operations, which is fairly quickly. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about Intel's innovative use of video and social media for corporate communications and media relations. I'd like to thank Larry Bosman and Ken Kaplan for spending the time to share their thoughts and experiences with us. You can check out some of the recent videos, corporate announcements, and podcasts from Intel yourself by visiting intelpr.feedroom.com. Thanks for watching this Thought Leaders webcast featuring Intel, winner of the Excellence in Enterprise Video Award. I'm Paul Ritter with Interactive Media Strategies. Thanks again for watching.